What's the worst house guest experience you've had? My aunt came to visit for what was supposed to be a week or two and didn't leave for almost a year when I was a kid. She redecorated my room and even put up pictures of herself. Now the running joke in my family is to randomly leave pictures of yourself around the house when we visit people. He cranked my dad's speakers up to the max and blew them. They were from the 70s so impossible to replace or repair. Then he clogged our toilet, grabbed a bunch of grandma's quilts to sop up the water. He then tried to stop the water by violently shacking the tank, cracking the bowl and dislodging it from its base. In a panic he tried to bolt from the house, his wet feet slipped on the wood floor and he crashed into a wall leaving a nice body-sized impression. That's how my brother's friends was barred from the house. My uncle and his wife came to stay for a while. They got my room and I slept on the couch for a few months, NBD when you're a kid I guess. What actually ticked me off is that when they finally left we found out that they'd seriously messed up my room. Everything reeked of cigarettes, there were ground up peanut shells in the carpet, cigarette burns on my mattress, etc. And we couldn't figure out why the room smelled like death until my we lifted up the bed and found mummified cat beep stuck up in the shag carpeting. They either had such bad hygiene that they didn't notice the smell or they knew and they just didn't care. Backslash edit, to everyone asking how we didn't notice the cigarette smell, my guess is that they only smoked in the room during the day when everyone was out, probably smoked out the window. My parents weren't smokers, we just figured the smell was coming from their bodies which we couldn't do anything about. Housemate had people come over, order a pizza, decide they didn't want it and refuse to answer the door so they didn't have to pay, at 4 a.m. Pizza guy could hear them through the door so kept knocking louder and louder. I eventually went to the door and opened it, then explained to the pizza guy what was going on, so that they didn't blacklist the property, and forced them to pay. As they were packing to leave the next day I noticed them trying to take some of my extra PS4 controllers by sneaking them into their bag. I'm normally an introvert but already being cranky from no sleep I lost my beep at that point. Called them a disgusting thief and told them to GTFO. That would be the girl visiting my sister-in-law who decided it would be funny to repeatedly prank call 911. I got a very angry call from the local police station saying we either stopped or they'd be sending a squad car over. Apologized profusely to the officer and thanked him for calling us first. She was not invited back to her house, she was 17 and definitely old enough to know better. My dad owned a business his whole life and was in the process of hiring new installers. One applicant came in from out of town and my dad, being the kind man he was, offered for him to stay in our home. When the morning came the man went to take a shower. My parents heard the water turn on and it stayed on for a really long time. After an hour and a half of running water, my mom made my dad go check on him. My dad went upstairs, picked the lock on the bathroom door, and found blood and a limp body on the floor next to the running shower. The man had overdosed, lost consciousness, hit his head on the shower side, and died. He was dead, right there on the bathroom floor that I used for 10 years. One thing is for sure, he won't be coming back to our house again. My ex-wife's friend had her car break down, and our apartment was right on a bus route to her job. She was supposed to stay over for a week while she got her car fixed. After two months and a lot of warning, we packed her bags for her and put them by the door. Instead of asking where the toilet paper is, they let their kid wipe his ass with our guest towels. Wife's cousin stayed a couple days with us. After he left, I discovered he purchased about $60 worth of porn on direct TV. Sister-in-law house sat when we were out of town. There were tons of disrespectful presents left for us. A cookie crumb trail of condom wrappers, which lead to an actual used condom, like WTF? But the worst was after cleaning all that up, which was just aggravating and stupid. There was a putrid smell I couldn't put my finger on. Until I finally opened a drawer in the dresser in the guest room, she had left a takeout container in there, half an omelet that had gone rancid. I gotta hope she just had to go quick and forgot all that crap was there when she left. Either way we took our key back from her. My old roommate told me she had a friend who had fallen on rough times and needed a spot to crash for a while. No worries, I told her. Ooh, big worries. He was a professional beatboxer, but more that that he was a professional smoker. Like, I'm fine with weed generally, but this dude was on 12 to 15 blunts a day, 
and would roll one as soon as he rolled his tighty whitey clad ass off of our couch. So for like four months, as soon as I woke up, it was nothing but clouds of white owl and b r r r r m m m c h k c h k f r k a f r k a c h c k a b r r r r m m m. He didn't fall on rough times. He was a rough time. One of my best buddies from high school called me up and begged for me to come get him from a town about three hours away. The idea was he would stay with us for a couple weeks while he looked for work and then get his own place. Six months later, I ended up renting him a room for one month and dropping him off with his junk and wishing him well. His father had warned me he would drain me dry, and he wasn't kidding. All those months he was supposedly using my vehicle to look for work, he was instead going out to a local bar. Every bottle in our liquor cabinet was drained down to the last finger. Couple came for a weekend to my small apartment, surprised that they brought three dogs and an extra friend. The puppy took a dump on my floor in the night, which nobody got up to clean. Another dog had a crate but managed to get a hold of a carpet outside of the crate, drag it in, and shred it. They also chewed up cardboard and wooden furniture. When they left, all the shredded stuff was just where it fell. Ran into a guy the first used to call a friend and let him stay with me for a while as he was down on his luck. I guess we'd ran out of toilet paper so he used a washcloth and left it at the side of the toilet. Kicked him out and found out later he walked away with some of my CDs. Some mutual friends let him stay. Against my advice, they came home one day to find him passed out on the couch with his pants around his ankles. After they kicked him out, they found out he'd racked up $900 in phone sex charges. Beep, you know, you always were and always will be a piece of beep. She stole all of my booze, pissed on my couch, tore up the flower bed to the side of my driveway, and destroyed my guest bathroom. This all happened after I'd fallen asleep. She was a guest of a tenant slash roommate and that roommate was told either her friend wasn't allowed over ever again or she'd have to find a new place to live. My mom's cousin and her husband went for a short visit to our house. She was five months pregnant then. She and her husband didn't leave until the baby was two months old. We had a house sitter once who wanted to bring their own dog for the week. They assured us the dog was well behaved and house trained. This was a pretty close friend and their house is nice and clean so we believed them. Came home to find every rug in our house destroyed. The house smelled funky when we walked in, and I immediately found wet spots on our living room rug. Lifted it up and it had more stained areas than not. Same with the kitchen, hallway, bedroom, and guest room rugs. I'm guessing this dog didn't pee outside a single time it was there. This was someone we paid to watch our house. Edit, to answer some common questions. Their house was all hardwood and had a dog door. I guess the dog just let itself out? Or maybe it does pee inside and they clean it up? Maybe the dog was freaked out in a new place? I honestly have no idea. I didn't confront them. Dot. We had a lot going on at that point in our lives and just felt it was best to silently sever the relationship and learn an expensive lesson. We were planning a cross-state move and a wedding. All out small rugs went through the wash. The living room rug went right into the dumpster it was so bad. We tried to clean the bit office rug but it ended up trashed too. We replaced the living room rug fairly cheaply. They tried to blame it on my dog and kind of acted like they hadn't noticed. Which I do not for one second believe either part of. My dog has had two accidents since we got her six years ago. Once the first day, and once when she was recovering from anesthesia. She has a bladder of steel and weighs 15 pounds. This other dog was a solidly 75 pound lab mix. Based on the sizes of the stains, it was not the 15 pounder. Weirdly, there was no evidence of poop in the house. Dot. So I really don't know what was going on. No, it does not appear that they made any attempt to clean up the mess. The rug downstairs was literally dripping wet. We paid via Venmo before we got home. Yes, I'm a spineless wimp. No major justice boner to be found here. Not my experience, but my mom's. One of my dad's younger cousin moved into my parents' newlywed house to stay with them until he finds some other arrangements for him. My dad's a pushover and mom's an introvert, he ended up making my parents move out of their bedroom to other room as he needed it for his studies. That pos uncle had his friends over every other weekend. Even though my older brother was born, he did not move out. And then my dad's younger brother died, which gave him another reason to stay with them. Dad was living a soulless life for a few months after that. Then after four years I was born, and boy oh boy the baby me was a crier. According to my brother, if my uncle was even within 10 feet of me, I would cry. If I heard his voice, I would cry. Then he finally left the house, and has never been in our lives again. 
I guess I'm a blessing. Edit. IDK why you guys assumed I'm a male. Clearing it out, I'm female. Thank you. My parents came over and started snooping through my closet while I was making tea. They found some sex toys and proceeded to get mad at me for having them. In my own house. In my own bedroom. They wouldn't have found them if they would have behaved like normal people. My dad's friend pissed in the corner of the guest room and asked for money from everyone who happened to walk by him. I was on my honeymoon with my husband and we let his dad stay at our house, but said he had to be out by the time we got back. We let him know when we were on our way home and expected him to be gone. We get back, he was gone but had not gotten his stuff out of the house. On top of that, he trashed the place like a group of teenagers, empty pizza boxes and trash laying around. He came back and stayed around for a bit and asked me if I was mad at him. Like of course I'm mad. What do you expect? I had surgery and was on bed rest for a week. I asked my cousin, who was living with me at the time, to keep an eye on me, as I was on heavy painkillers. I stayed on the couch and let her use my bedroom. When I recovered, I found used weave piled up on clean towels in the bathroom cabinet, a douche nozzle behind my nightstand, trash piled all the way up the wall in the kitchen, dirty dishes everywhere, a plate of rancid food in the microwave, ketchup and mustard smeared on the floors, and she had stolen a bunch of clothing and CDs, along with one of my iPhone chargers, she had a Windows phone, and she poked a hole in my $2,500 sleep number bed. I kicked her ass out immediately. Edit. Why I gave her the bed and took the couch. The couch was like two steps from the bathroom, and by giving her the bedroom I thought I was ensuring that she would have no reason not to do this one simple task because she would have to pass by the couch to go to the kitchen or the bathroom. Edit. Explain douche nozzle. A douche is a feminine hygiene product that many women use to control vaginal odor. The bag contains the product, and the nozzle is inserted into the vagina. When you squeeze the bag the product is pushed out of the nozzle and it rinses the vagina. When our son was born, my mother-in-law came and stayed on our couch for two weeks to help. In the two weeks she was there, she did nothing to help. Dishes? Laundry? Feedings? Nothing. And our poor son had real trouble feeding those first few months. We couldn't get him to eat well, and it didn't help that my mill was there the whole time, staring at us while the baby didn't eat. After two weeks, my father-in-law was going to join us, so my mill baked a pie. For him. That's why I always said that if we had another one, I'd be on the doorstep with a shotgun until the baby was six months old. Edit, as this has blown up some, I'll add a few things. When my mill saw my wife for the first time after the baby, she said, wow, it looks like there's another baby in there. Also, my Phil wasn't there to meet his first grandchild because he had a prior commitment. It was a Vietnam veterans reunion. I wasn't bothered that he wanted to go to that, because I know how important that group is to vets. But this is your only daughter and your first grandchild and you can't skip it one year? But then again, if he'd been as helpful as his wife was, it was better that he was away. Never even got to spend any time in this apartment. I agreed to rent an apartment with my younger sister on her road to recovery from drug use, and we'd all thought she was doing well. I paid for the first month's rent and deposit, which is standard. She moved in a week early, because I was working night shift and the whole process started on a Monday. That weekend I got to move in, I found out my debit card was locked out because she stole it and attempted to withdraw money too many times. It didn't get any better after that, sadly. A guest took a dozen eggs from my pantry and cooked it and served it to her kid after refusing to allow the kid to eat a dish I cooked for them. I think I had an older post about it somewhere here in Reddit about it. Husband of friend came for Xmas since she was out of town. He brought the dog, who had diarrhea. Dog humped our dog for hours till our dog was covered in Saint Husband's spouted racist crap and my kids laughed at him. Had to wash our dog in the kitchen after he left. Friend divorced now. He beat my girl. Guess she wasn't a good guest either though. My father-in-law threatened to beat my six-year-old sister because she was running around in our porch. They peed in my fridge. He beep in the laundry hamper. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.